Good morning, guys. And now, inshallah, we are going to study section number two, which is called the naming the molecule. And before studying naming the molecule, we are going to know about the time investment. It's the week value of ninth week. It's okay, time investment. And how can we uh, recall and how can we uh, make time for you? It's okay, it's time investment. Uh, after that, maybe more use. The main titles that we are going to study it is how can we write, how can we write chemical formula of chemical compound. It's okay, first, we are going to study this. <coughs> okay. First, we are going to know. We are going to know what about the. What are the. The lesson we are going to study. Please. Lesson, please. Section 2 Naming Molecules. Specific rules are used when naming binary molecular compounds, binary acids. And oxy acid. So, what are the rules that can be used in naming binary molecular compound, binary acids, and oxy acids? Okay, what they know, what they want, what they want to find out, what they learn. Okay, number two, essential questions that you are going to study. Number one, essential question What rules do you follow to name binary molecular compound from its molecular formula? How are acidic solutions named? It's okay, this called what? This called that we are going to study. What rules do? What rules do you follow to name the binary molecular compound from its molecular formula? How are acidic solutions named? After that, vocab that we are going to study and we can recap that we study oxy anode. We studied before oxyanion, okay? Who can answer me what's meant by oxyanion? Yes, oxyanion. Good. Oxyanion means what? Means the oxygen atom that is found at the right side of the chemical compound. Oxyacid, the vocab that we are going to study in class, okay? Let's go. This example. How can we take this example? Naming N2O. Okay, example N2O. What is it? The first name is always named first using the enter element. Name is simple for nitrogen. So it's nitrogen. The second one, second element, is named using its root and adding the suffix. Then iod. O is called what? Oxy iod. So it's called oxide. Oxide. Prefix are used to indicate the number of atoms of each element that are present in the compound. There are two atoms of nitrogen and one atom of oxygen. So it's called what? It's called di. Nitrogen monoxide. Di. Nitrogen monoxide. Okay, so what is the number? What is the number of the atoms in this compound? Listen to me on this. Sorry. Listen to me. N2O means what? N2O means the number of atoms. This compound is what? The number of atoms. Yes. Okay. Yes. There are three. Three atoms. Two nitrogen and one oxygen. So three atoms. Three atoms. N2O. Okay. But N. N monovalent. Or uh, N is trivalent. Okay. So, example N2O means what? Means the name of this compound is called either di nitrogen monoxide. Okay, di nitrogen monoxide. So, the di or monoxide, what are the name of this? We are going to study the names of this. How can, how can we write this? Okay, how can we write? And uh, no, this. Element. Lesson first. Naming binary molecular compounds. 
example and to uh, the first element is always named first using the entire element name. M is the symbol for nitrogen. The second element is named using its root and adding the suffix I. O is the symbol for oxygen. So the second word is an oxide. oxide. Prefixes are used to indicate the number of atoms of each element that are present in the compound. There are two atoms of nitrogen and one atom of oxygen. So the first word is dinitrogen and the second word is monoxide. So it's called dinitrogen monoxide. What are the uh, number of this compound? One is called mono. Mono. Two, di. Three, tri. Four, tita. Five penta, six hepta, sorry, six hexa, seven hepta, eight octa, nine nona, ten deca. So they are they are the perfects that we must add them to the chemical compound when they are they consist of one, two, or three till ten atoms. Okay. After that, the example. Okay, two, not this one. Name the compound B2O5. B2O5, which is used as a drying and dehydrating agent. Okay, B2O5. What is the name of this B2O5? Ah, yes. Okay, good. B2O5 means that what is the number of atoms in this compound? Yes, number of atoms are seven atoms. Two, first first atoms. And five oxygen atoms. So the number of atoms in this compound are seven atoms. But what are what are the number of elements in this compound? Good. Number of the element is two, which is which are oxygen and phosphorus. But how can we how can we name this chemical compound? Okay. You are given the formula of compound. The formula contains the elements and the number of atoms of each element in one molecule. Because only two different elements are present and both are non metals, phosphorus and oxygen, the compound can be named using the rules for naming binary molecular compound. Okay, as the first element represents P, it's called phosphorus. Good. Second element is oxide, but we add words on it, so it's called oxide. Oxide. <coughs> but what are the number of atoms in phosphorus? What are the number of atoms in oxygen to name this compound? Who can name this compound? Yes, good. It's called what? It's called the dye. Phosphorus, penta oxide. Di, two. Phosphorus. Penta five oxide. Okay, so the name is what? Combined name phosphorus. Oxide or what? Phosphorus. Oxide or di. Phosphorus, pentaoxide. Di, phosphorus, pentaoxide. It's okay. Di, phosphorus, as it's called of two. Okay. And oxapenta, it goes to five. It's okay. Uh, any problem with this? Okay. So, in the name of this compound. Okay. But, after that, before using this, we are going to. We are going to. Ask some question at micro level. It's okay in this question. Okay, who can write? We have what? We have a number of atoms one, of CMOS one, as we said before. Die, it's what? Seven watts. Yes. Number one, called what from this? Choose from this. One. It's called what? Yes, good one is mono. So if we get mono and put it in this, it's mono. After that, after that die, it's called what? Yes, die means two. Die means two. Okay, one mono. Die means what? Die means two. Okay. Perfect. Two. Okay. Seven. Yes, seven. Okay. Seven called hepta. Okay, seven hecta. Okay, hexa means what? Yes, hexa means six. Uh, six. Okay, three. 
Yeah, three. Okay, try. Good, three, try. Okay. And Titra, it's called what? It's one. No, there is no. There is a problem with this. That is not. This is not arrangement. Good. The arrangement will be what? The arrangement will be the number of atoms. Perfect. This is number of atoms. Okay. This perfect. So more. We can put more. This. Well, this more. Okay. And as we said. This what? As we said, hexa? Six, what? Six, hexa. So one more. Six, hexa. After the dry, two, yes. So get dry. What is that? Two. Here. Two, dry. Okay. Three. Yes, try. Four, three, try. Titra? Yes, four. Four, four tetra. Okay, five. Yeah, good. Five penta. And we said six hexa seven. Yeah, hepta. Good seven hepta. Octa. Eight yes. Nine good nona. And ten finally deca. So this is the. This is that we start submit. Yes, all right. Say one more, two die, three try, four tetra, five penta, six hexa, seven hepta, eight octa, nine nona, ten the god, god. And this is the answer to this question. After that, we're going to complete our PowerPoint. It's okay. How can we name the athlete? As what? As this? Okay. Okay, we said it before. Okay. Naming of binary molecular compound. Okay, how can we write it? How can we read it? Read. Naming binary molecular compounds. Many compounds were discovered and given common names long before the present naming system was developed. Water, ammonia, hydrazine, nitric oxide. So there are through, there are compounds that can be written or can be named by another that there's a common name and chemical name. So there's difference between common name and chemical name. As were were as H2O. H2O, but it has another chemical name, dye, hydrogen monoxide, because it's H2O, dye, hydrogen monoxide, or water is the common name of this, okay? Lesson 